Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. I am Pokemoja. So today I am going to be opening up these two special card sets that have just come out in Japan as of today. I managed to run to a store, grab these two and get back here to record this pretty quickly today. Unlike normally where I have to spend half the day running around and then and then really rush to record and and uh, edit and everything. So it's going to be a nice cruisy day, I think. So we've got the V Star Leapion box here. Quite a tall box, so it's hard to get it in frame nicely. And the Glaceon V Star special set box here. So, what we have inside of each of these boxes, excuse it being in Japanese. But we have two promo cards, so it comes with the Glaceon V or Leafeon V promo, as well as the Glaceon V Star or Leafeon V Star, which I will do a proper focus on after when I open these up. Uh, we have a V Star marker, a premium V Star marker in here very nice looking it looks like at least from the outside it looks like it might be a harder plastic possibly we'll find out uh we've got eight packs of starbirth which so far i've opened up a whole bunch of on the channel um still hunting for the any of the alternate arts but you know maybe we'll get lucky today we've got eight packs in here and eight packs in the other box so that's 16 packs in total and there is a player's guide i wonder what's in the player's guide we're going to find out. Uh, so I'm going to open these up today. I think this is going to be a really interesting video. We've got the two sets here. So without further ado, I'm going to crack these open and we'll get into them. See you soon. And we are back. So I've taken out the plastic holder casing thing from inside of each of the boxes and pulled out what they claim is the player's guide. I guess, I guess it is a guide of sorts. It's a single piece of paper that kind of guides on something. Oh, I suppose there is a QR code here, which is, you know, you can watch videos on how to play the game like the the premium trainer box the v star box there's a qr code there to do some kind of survey uh it says if you answer the survey there will be like a lottery and you can win a box of i'm assuming starburst but who knows it just says one box of boosters it doesn't say what probably starburst though so i mean these are the two cards we're looking for out of Starver, Arceus V-Star and Charizard V-Star, but that's not all. They do have alternate arts. That's what we really, really want to pull. So why don't we do a bit of a, these packs anyway, a bit of a box versus box battle. But First, I want to really kind of focus on these two beautiful looking V-Stars. So you can really have a nice close look at the two V-Stars. Of course, they're going to go in a sleeve. They go straight in a sleeve. And of course, because they are Starbirth series, we have our beautiful Arceus sleeves. Can I get these out without them getting caught? Are they going to get caught? That's the question. Or are they just going to... Actually, let's check this out first. Wow, that's... That is nice. Should I get that in focus for you? Wow, that is really nice. That's a nice, thick, hard acrylic. That's really cool. That's really nice. It's got some heft to it too. Like, that's... That's, you know, see, hear it on the table. That's, you know, that is premium. They weren't lying. 
about it being premium. So we'll put him over there, and this one up over here. That's our semi mascots. They're not even, they don't have faces. How can they be a mascot? You're an idiot. Okay. So let's get the, the packs out for each of the boxes. And we will cut these open in a minute. We have one, two, three, four for the Glaceon box. We'll put them to the side and one, two, three, four more. So that's eight. Eight packs for the Glaceon box. And one, two, three, four Starburst packs. And one, two, three, four more Starburst packs. So that is eight packs for the Leafeon box. Let's get into and have a look at the... Oh, there goes PSA 10. There goes PSA 10. But... That is a beautiful card. I love the design of Leafeon in the first place. Not my absolute favorite uh, evolution, but still a beautiful, beautiful Pokemon and a beautiful card. Unfortunately, I'm not sure it's going to show up well on camera. But there is a print line straight across it there. But, I mean, we are talking about it. it's a promo card where they're printing literally millions of them, probably. So, and that is the V which has also got a couple of pretty hardcore print lines straight across there or one straight down there. Oh well, I mean, beggars can't be choosers. These were not expensive sets. I think they were, they were 2,000 yen for the box. So that's uh, roughly, you know, 20-ish dollars in, in various currencies. It's not an exact science because as everybody knows currencies change value every single day so what could be twenty dollars today could be fifty dollars tomorrow that is the glaceon oh no yeah i was about to say fortunately i don't see any print lines but there is one straight across the middle there that's, you know, unfortunate, but still, from a distance, it's not that bad. You can't, it doesn't stand out. Once it's in a sleeve, you would never know. That is a beautiful looking card. Of course, these are, I believe, the same design cards that are, you know, coming out in English in the in the V-Star boxes for, for Glaceon and Leafeon in English as well. So they're not, you know, going to be super rare cards at all, because they are promo cards, but they are very nice. They are very nice indeed. Glaceon is also a very cool looking evolution. Okay, so now that we've had a look at the cards, let's get into these packs. We will see which of these boxes, the Glaceon or the Leafeon box, gets us more pulls. Which do you think it'll be? I'm I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess the leafy on box. I don't know. That's my guess. I'm guessing the leafy on box. This side, the left hand side, is gonna have more pulls. We are going to find out. So let me snip the packs open, and we'll get right into them. See you soon. And we are back. So I've now snipped all these packs open. So we are going to get into them. I'm going to do one from each side and we're going to see which ones are going to get our bigger pulls. So let's start. Which way? It's this way, right? Yes. 
forget. It's been been a while. It's been a couple of a week or so since I've I've opened a week. A week. My memory's that bad. I can't remember a week ago. It's great. Okay, so we start with a clean clang. Violu, Chimeco, and a Tornadus. Okay, so no pulls from the first pack, so no first pack magic. One to the front. The Volcano Stadium card. Executor. Chimeco. A Weasel. And... A Wormadam. Damn, it's a Wormadam. I think I've, I've said that before. But... Nope, back over here. Gotta, gotta keep track. Gotta keep track. Ah, and turn it around. Oopsie. Oopsie. Then... We have a... Weavile. Sneasel and an Infernape Holographic Infernape Gotta love the Firestarter Oh, speaking of Firestarter in Arceus, of course Cyndaquil Cho Cyndaquil um, Legends Arceus though I'm literally, you know, 15 or 10 hours in and I'm literally still running around the first area just, just doing stuff like just enjoying it, Sneasel. Throw. Hey, a go look. Non holographic, though. So, yeah, just still running around the very first area. Like, I'm enjoying it. I, I really like the mechanics. I think it's, you know, really interesting. It's a nice change of pace from the standard, you know, playing on rails Pokemon game. Cynthia's Aspiration. Spiritomb. Duskull. And a Heatran. So it's it's a very nice change of pace and I'm super excited to see what they do with this kind of uh, style of game. Are they going to... Is this going to be, you know, the style moving forward? Is this how all Pokemon games are going to be? Is it going to be open world? Is it going to be, you know, freely Pokemon wandering around that you can just sort of catch Moltres? Moltres that you can just sort of catch. Uh, and, you know, I love the way that the Pokedex works. I think it's really, really interesting. The fact that you don't just catch a Pokemon and get all its details. Like, you you catch multiple or you, you see them use specific moves and you slowly develop and build up your Pokedex entries. It's really awesome. Hey, an Arceus V! Our first pull from these... Packs. Very nice. The poster child of Starbirth. Arceus V has made an appearance. So that is one in the Glaceon box so far. We will see if the Lepion box can catch up. One to the front. But I don't want to... I Really, I want to talk a lot about Arceus... I'm really enjoying it. I think it's, you know, a really interesting game. It's super fun, but I don't want to talk too much. Muck. I don't want to talk too much because I don't want to give out spoilers. I don't want people to, to, you know, I guess, you know, get the game ruined. So I don't want to talk too much about it, but I think, you know, some of the, like the Pokedex stuff, like where you, you fill it out rather than just catching Pokemon is really interesting. I think that's, you know, quite early on Torterra really early on where you would uh, you know, introduce that that, introduce, not level, that gets introduced to you in the game so it's not a super big it's not really spoilery territory it's just you know it's safe spoiler territory we have an Ultra Ball a Clefairy Kabuchu Hey, there we go. Beautiful Raichu V. Full art, secret rare. 
Sigura has been pulled. So I think with this beautiful Raichu, super ne neglected Pokemon like I've, I've said before. Everyone loves Pikachu. Not much about the Raichus, but I love me a Raichu. There we go. That's a cool... Look at his happy face. Look at his happy face. Or her happy face. Look at Raichu's happy face. There we go, Raichu. Secret rare. So I think that means, so far, rather than trying to catch up, it's currently in the lead with three packs of each to go. I had to double check then that I didn't, you know, screw it up. It is, that is from the Leafy on box. So, the Leafy on box currently is winning. Come on, Glacier on box. Wait, no, I guessed Leafy on. Didn't I? Did I guess Leafy on? I don't remember. But, uh, uh, but future Modger will, will remind us on, on screen because current Modger can't remember at all. Okay some kind of random belt next pack what was i saying not not about you know forgetting what i guessed i don't remember Brilloom. so twig gibble monferno and a clefable so we have two more packs left on each side are we going to get some last pack magic in the end is this where we're gonna pull the the big ones or are we just gonna get the two today i mean from eight packets from eight packs each i guess one pull from each is not terrible hey as i as i say it as we talk about it not getting any extra pulls there's an arceus v star okay so I still think of V-Star because it's not a secret rare, this one. This is just the standard V-Star. Even though it is an absolutely beautiful card. And it is Arceus. Can't complain about it. I still think it, you know... The Glaceon box will win if we don't pull anything else from the Leafeon box. But the fact that we got a secret rare out of the uh, Leafeon box means that's, you know, pulling ahead, I think, if we get anything else out of it. So let's have a look. Clink, Staravia, Electabuzz, and look, it's Mon Mothma. I mean, get it? Mon Mothma. Leader of the Resistance. No, came Senator. No, no. Right, it's Motham. Sorry. Apologies. Ha! I'm not sorry. Staraptor. Shroomish, Garb, Bite. I forget. This is uh, it's Cub Chew, and then my brain, my brain falls apart. My brain, my brain. Our last pack for today. It is from the Leafy on box. It's a a fable Quang Shinx Nose Pass into a random trainer card. Well, okay, I'm I'm not gonna call this. I'm going to leave it up to you guys in the comments to decide actually which box won. I personally think pulling a secret rare out of eight packs in a box is pretty darn special. So, you know, I, even though I think I guessed the Leafeon box, and that would be unfair for me to call the Leafeon box, but I think the Leafeon box edges it out because we have pulled the Arceus V and V Star before. But, but I'm going to leave it up to you guys. Leave a comment down below. Which box do you think won? Was it the Leafeon box or the Glaceon box? Do you like the Secret Rare more? Or 
Do you like the fact that we pulled Arceus V and V-Star? The two Arceuses, even if they're not secret rares. Let me know in the comments, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!